Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to export data in DPaver Enterprise Edition. So and here I am going to use the table department and here right click on it and here click on view table. So you need to go add here on data, right click and here you can find export option click on export data now you can export into csv file html json sql txt file xml and here this is the excel worksheet so first i'm going to show you about csv so csv is selected click on next and here extraction setting Open new connection, it's not required. Select pro count, and here this all are not required. Now, here file name CSV, file extension CSV, and no need to change anything. Simply click next, and here where do you want to save the directory? So, I'm going to click and here after desktop and inside ruby here file is there so this one is selected now here after click on next here you can see this is the source container here source the table name department and here this is the target table name so if you want here this is the, the location where I am going to create the file. Now here this all detail you can see and you have to click on S start. So here that is just export. Today's date 5 5 2020 and here there is the CSV file extract info export successfully. Now here after let's uh, see add here exporting or text format. So text format that selected. Next, no need to change anything. And here this is the location here. So this is the location and here this is the file name department txt. Click on start. So right here text format file is now double click on it here you can see this is the uh, file records exported and here this is the column department name and SRID location ID all those things are there like this uh, if you want then you can export so here I am going to select HTML. Next and here. Next and start. So HTML file. Now if you double click on this. So let's select Microsoft Edge. So here HTML file. And here this with data that I exported successfully in the department. So this is the way we can export our table data and here you can next uh, try to select JSON, SQL, XML, X, S, S, X, Excel. So this is the way we can export data into our system so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week